Good morning, it's Monday and this is Joel from Creation Technologies. Hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, cool. I thought I would do a talk about how I got here. I get a lot of questions, I say a lot. No, it is a lot. I do, I do get a lot of questions based on how I started or how do I get into this kind of role or what advice would I give regarding the courses to take. So I thought, let me tell you how I got into it and exactly what I do. And hopefully this will be helpful or useful to anyone looking to start a career in IT, especially in field engineering, networking, which is basically, you know, what I do. Cool. So I'm not gonna, it's not going to be a long, boring story <laughs> of how I started or, or whatnot. I'm just going to stick to the facts and what, what I've done to get here in this position. I started my IT career 2005. Yeah, about 2005. I did two courses, MCSC and Cisco CCNA back then. So finished the courses, then I was looking for a job based in IT. Now I started, what I did was volunteer. I volunteered for a, a school actually. My IT career hasn't been purely education, but I did start volunteering in a school looking after their their IT systems. I knew a head teacher who used to tutor myself and I asked him, can I volunteer and help sort out your, your IT network and your systems? And um, obviously he said, yes, why? Because it's free. I was offering my services for free. Yeah, the value on that is unbelievable. I highly recommend if you can do that, if you could offer your services for free, show them, prove your worth. You'll be surprised how that benefits you hands down. It gives you an opportunity through the door without even going through interviews or tests. You just, you'll go up and say, look, I'm willing to learn. I'll do anything. I'll do it for free. And let me show you what I can do. So anyway, I, yes, I knew him, which gave me a slight advantage, but what really sold it is that I've just finished doing an IT course. You have computers in your school. You have no one really maintaining it. Um, it's a small school. It was a, it was a private school, a small private school. I'll do it for free. And he was like, yeah, great, wonderful. And I did that to, for one, provide me experience because that was value to me. He got two value. He got a value of me going in there and sorting out computers for free. And I got a value of gaining experience in a network environment where I could test the things that I've learned. And I could probably mess things up and put them back together again without his knowledge. And even if he did have a knowledge of it, I would repair it and rectify it. So I was gaining valuable knowledge working in a network environment, live network environment, where people were using their, you know, the servers, the switches, the desktop operating systems, deployment. I was using it and I was first hand in the environment learning, putting my whatever I learned via text for my courses and implementing them in a real life environment. Now I already had skills in IT anyway, so like help desk support and whatnot, but with the MCSC, Cisco CCNA, it enabled me to manage network infrastructures, architects. So therefore my mindset was like, let's test this stuff. Let's, let's see how these things communicate. And that school just allowed me to do so. So I used to put things back together again. It was great fun, I loved it. I did that for, not long actually i did that for about three to six months and then i landed a role in it with an msp company doing field engineering i didn't need that much experience to be able to get into that position so it was great i just started to once i was able to gain experience from working through the the private school i was then able to put on my cv what i was doing and where i was doing it and apply for jobs and um yeah and then i applied for an msp provider an it company and as a film engineer and i got it it was actually my i think uh, yeah i applied for one job that i saw and i went to the interview and i got a job now they interviewed me and they also tested my skills which was great because i was confident enough whatever they threw at me i was able to deal with and you know they put me in kind of like in, in the network environment and messed things up and I fixed it. And they were like, yeah, you're great. And that's how I started working in IT around about, so it was like 2006, 2007. Salary at the time, how much was I on those? Yeah, I think it's 25,000 I think I was getting at the time. So that would have been 2006, 2007. So yeah, so it was great and I learned a lot. So once I was able to get into the field, then obviously your experience starts to build. You start to, you know, interact with more operating systems, different networks, understanding it 
you know, applications and the different ways of people doing things. And you just build your experience. I started to do more and more server-based related stuff, network infrastructure, I was learning from experienced engineers there as well. Yeah, it was great. Anyway, so then I moved from there to another company which supported schools. And that's how I got into education, is when I started to work for them, they were supporting small primary schools predominantly. So key stage one, key stage two. And yeah, and then I started to understand how IT and education work, which is different. Um, as you can see from my videos showing you guys how different it is. All right, so cool. So we went from me studying MCSE, CCNA, getting my first job, and then my second job was working in education. And okay, so how do I get to the position where I'm doing now? So I left that role within education. I went to contracting because contracting, you can make quite a lot of money at those times anyway. And when I left, I had a few schools which I built relationships with, reach out to say, look, I would really be interested if you would support us schools moving forward and um, yeah so they gave me the opportunity to provide them with a service so I was very surprised but grateful at the time and uh, yeah I, I took the opportunity and at the time I think it was three schools that jumped on showing interest and they wanted, wanted me to support them and provide them with IT support and and then I just kind of grew it from then to where I have quite a few schools and a team which helps me manage the schools we look after today. So yeah, that, that's pretty much what I did and then how I got here. What I mean, the main key from this really, I would say from my experience is that get the qualifications, yes. Um, try and get into a live environment, a real live environment as soon as possible. The quicker you do that, the, um, the more that works into your favor with experience and then what you're bringing to the table with say, you know, with your expertise. You can progress really, really quickly within IT. It's one of the professions where you don't have to necessarily be in it for a long time to really progress within position and salary because it's down to you how you want to learn and you can learn very, very quickly in a short space of time about a lot of things within IT. The availability is there. Okay, so let's say I was starting from scratch now regarding IT and the courses I wanted to take. Now, I love networking. I love how devices communicate with other devices. You know, what's the biggest network in the world? It used to be like a trick question I used to ask, like apprenticeships, what's the biggest network in the world? And uh, eventually they get back to, you know, the internet. Internet is the biggest network in the world. Well. So that's something if you're interested in it, these are the courses I would do now to help me get the, the role or the career that I would like to pursue in. Uh, the first course is going to be, if you're going to start for me personally, if you have no idea about uh, computing, IT, anything like that, I will start from A+, CompTIA A+, you know, you need to know the foundations, the basics, I would do that course. And the next, the... Next course I would do is the CompTIA Security Plus. Why would I do that course? It gives you like an introduction on certain things you need to have in place within your infrastructure, understanding the concept of preventing people from doing things on the operating system scale. So it's a very important course to do because especially, you know, cybersecurity and hacking and etc. So I would do that as well. Next I would definitely do is the CompTIA Network um, course. If you really want to know about networking or want an introduction to networking it's a great course to do yeah i would definitely do that then i will go into cisco ccna because then you want to master that that knowledge that early knowledge that you got you want to solidify it you want to master it make yourself confident to say yeah i definitely know what i'm doing regarding that and fun enough i would actually do linux as well i really got into linux later on when i was started to really push my knowledge on Linux operating systems, just some of the, the packets they use and the, the applications and just the free up open source tools they have and how you could just implement it, you know, freely on your network as well to monitor. And Linux has opened my mind when it comes to networking in a sense of how you kind of look into your back end of your infrastructure, what your network is doing. So I would definitely do some a course to do with Linux. Yeah, that, that would be my route, really. That would be my route. I would also do a course something related to cybersecurity. I think we are, I was trained to do prevention. So 
okay, how can I prevent people from coming in? But you have to also think like a hacker now. You have to think, okay, so how can I penetrate? So you have to think to, of when you're approaching your network, you're not thinking, all right, prevent. You know, what ways can I hack into this network that I'm creating at the moment, this infrastructure, this architect that I'm doing? What, where's the loopholes? Where, where, where's the vulnerability? So before, you know, in my early years of IT or networking, you didn't really have to think like that. But obviously now, because of the, the high rise of uh, cybersecurity and hacking and whatnot, and everything kind of intertwines when it comes to networking. So you, for you to understand hacking, you really do need to understand networking anyway. So since you're understanding networking, you might as well understand hacking at the same time. So th that's the route I would take if that's the field you want to go into, which my field is networking. That's what I, I love doing. I think volunteering is really something which I think maybe the younger generation have, have missed a trick on how key of a tool it is to really get in employment within an organization. Funny enough, I just hired a, an apprentice three, four months ago, and I wasn't even looking to hire an apprentice, but the apprentice approached me and said he would work for free. And I wasn't thinking of oh, free labor. I was just thinking, okay, there's the enthusiasm and the ambition and someone who is keen and showing me the dedication of that they want to learn their craft he was able to just for him saying to me that i want to work for free i want to prove myself to you already shows me his initiative his drive already without having an interview in my head i was like so for me as a employer that resonated with me because i did something similar like that myself but also because i understood the mindset of wanting to do it and i knew if he's willing to come in those kind of circumstances i knew he'll be an asset for a possible asset for the team and um he was after two months of actually proving himself i gave him the position and now he's a junior apprentice under cringe technologies and if he never took that initiative originally then he would not have an exciting career with cringe technologies currently so it's something i think that young people especially if they want to go into any field any walk of life you know try and build value you need to build value for yourself what's your value to the employer or the institution to, for them to take a gamble on you okay cool i think that's it yeah if i've missed anything hit me out in the comments if you've got any questions let me know but yeah i hope this was useful a few questions based on you know how you get into this specific journey of it specifically the field that i'm doing which is film engineering networking so i just thought let me just make a quick video about it anyway that's it from me see you guys on the next one